Usually people with my kind of history are not meant to be managing directors of anything, right? Because when you say like, you know, uh, undocumented, homeless, sex worker, with the history of addiction, people don't expect you to be successful. Are you guys here to get beautified or to steal my proprietary secrets? So, yeah, my name is Cecilia Gentili, MHC, Gay Men Health Crisis, and I identify as the transgender woman. So my first question to you would be, um, how have you seen transgender rights change in the previous years and, um, and right now in 2018? The life of a trans woman of color is around 32 to 35. Being 46 and going into 47, makes me feel like I made it in life. So I've seen like, you know, the state of trans rights going through different stages. We continue to work on rights for our community. Unfortunately, we've seen many attacks, like, you know, the attacks to transgender people in the military, you know, the new idea of trying to eliminate the word transgender from all the literature. Yeah. You know, there are terrible things. But I believe it's a great opportunity to, to put a fight. I'm nothing if I'm not a fighter. How do you see housing and healthcare as being related in the fight to end youth homelessness? It goes hand in hand. How can you take care of your health if you don't have a place to sleep? That's why I always think like, you know, uh, when we talk about uh, specifically about HIV, housing is prevention. Creating spaces for young folks and for folks in general that are put at high risk. Creating housing for those folks is creating HIV prevention. What about survival sex work? You know, how does sex work relate to healthcare and homelessness? As, as a former sex worker, I uh, started working uh, on the sex trade when I was 17 because, you know, I was transitioning, I couldn't get a job. So the only thing that I found, you know, that I could do to sustain myself was to do sex work, right? For many of us, sex work has kept us alive for years because we couldn't get jobs, right? From a young age. Yeah. From the young... beginning of being kicked out of your home. Right? Uh, the problem is that, you know, sex work is criminalized, right? So yeah. because we are forced into sex work, you know, we are put in positions where we, ha we are most likely to be arrested at, at any time, you know, and then... Arrested or lose our lives. Yeah, or, or arrested or killed or, you know, uh, harassed. You're a pioneer in our communities, you know, we, as a, as a sister and as a Afro Latina sister, I look up to my sisters who are in positions like yours. It's what our community needs. You know, we need to be kept visible in the conversation. We need to be brought into the tables to keep having these type of conversations. I believe that one of the most important issues for trans youth when it comes to, uh, you know, the road to homelessness is, you know, family acceptance. It is proven that, you know, youth that have uh, the support of their family are most likely to, uh, you know, be housed and have uh, and be more successful around education, employment. Whatever our ideas of success, we all deserve a shot to succeed. So I'm trying to do my best to guarantee youth and young folks to have, uh, you know, a shot to success.